Hey there, Rooted Fellowship family. Uh, my name is Jono, uh, and I have the privilege of serving as one of the elders and pastors here at Rooted Fellowship under the guidance and leadership of our lead pastor, Pastor Oni Mokatle, who is here with me now. Hey, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. So we have some exciting news. We have some important news in which we'd love to share with you. Um, so I think up front, it would be good to say that the leaders and elders at Rooted Fellowship believe in a life of honoring God with our rhythms and our rest. So we believe that uh, a Christian should divert daily, uh, have a time each day in which they get to spend that time with God in devotion, Bible reading, and prayer. We believe that a Christian should be withdrawing weekly. There should be a day in which you practice the Sabbath rest. Uh, you give that day to the Lord and honor and honor God and uh, worship Him with that day. And even sometimes we, we believe that you should abandon annually. Take some extended time off from, from your normal rhythms and of life uh, each year to, to just focus on who you are in God and, uh, and, and rest in Him. We also, however, believe that after extended periods of ministry, of intense ministry, that... Uh, that pastors and leaders should be entitled to a extended time of rest known as a sabbatical. If you're new to church or if you haven't heard that word before, a sabbatical is, is a time that one focuses on our acceptance as children of God and his sustenance that he gives to us instead of focusing on our own significance and calling and our own fruitfulness in ministry. And so, um, after a number of months uh, discussing this with the elders of Rooted Fellowship, Pastor One and his family will be taking a sabbatical uh, at the end of November. And so, One, um, how do you feel? How, how, yeah, tell us, tell us your thoughts. Yeah, so um, I'd, be, I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say I'm nervous, um, which probably reveals a lot of things uh, about how I understand work and rest. Um, but having said that, we, we are taking a, a three-month sabbatical um, at the end of November, like you said, and uh, and very different to a holiday. Um, it's really an opportunity for myself and my family uh, just to to rest, um, to reflect, um, just to spend some time not only with one another, but to spend uh, some extended time with God um, as a family. And so uh, we're really looking forward to that. It's It's been a long seven years. You know, we, we just celebrated five years as, as Rooted Fellowship. But for my wife and I, uh, it's been seven years um, because, you know, this began long before the launch date um, in terms of praying and preparing and, and really uh, trusting God uh, to do uh, what he has done. Uh, so many incredible stories uh, these last seven years. But um, but just kind of looking back and realizing, wow, we, we haven't taken that time to, to just sit back and be with God, um, an opportunity to, to look back on the years that have gone um, and all that has happened, all the highs and all the lows. Uh, it's been a very busy season for my wife and I and, and, and our two children, um, but, but it's been a good seven years. And, and so we, we want to take this, this next three months, um, you know, just being together as a family. We're going to spend some time together. Um, we're going to travel a little bit, um, you know, uh, restrictions hopefully will allow us to do that. But, but just to see some family, there's a lot of family that we just haven't seen. Um, and, and largely because of our time in ministry and, and our commitment to what we believe God uh, has called us to here in the city of Pretoria. Um, and so we'll do that. We'll get to see some family that we haven't seen in a very long time. Um, and then we'll spend a, a whole good month just together as a family away, away from the city. It's one of the ways that I rest well. Um, I, I struggle to rest uh, in the city of Pretoria because I'm always looking for an opportunity uh, for, for something to happen, you know, for ministry or, uh, you know, I, I get, you know, a vision to do something in a certain part of the city. And so it'll be good to get away um, and to not necessarily think so much on that, but to focus on my family, focus on my marriage uh, and focus on my relationship with God. So we'll do that. And then my wife and I will get an opportunity to spend some time together as well, which we're looking forward to. Um, and then I'll spend a couple of days just on my own, um, you know, just to to be uh, by myself in my own thoughts um, and to be with God, um, to be reminded about so many, so many great things that God says uh, about his children um, that maybe, maybe in these last seven years, I've taken my eyes off. Um, so yeah, so... Man, that was a huge summary, but um, but yeah, there's uh, we're looking at taking that time off, those three months off, to to do things like that. 
thanks so much for sharing sharing those details with us. Um, I guess some folks may be wondering: uh, Is this because of you know things are 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 okay? Are you know are you okay? Um, I guess some folks would be wondering: You know, are you okay? Do you need this time off to recover? Um, so, what, what would you say to that question? Yeah, well, firstly, I'd say, you know, I understand the question, if, if some of you are thinking that. Um, oftentimes, when we hear of uh, pastors or their families taking a sabbatical, um, you know, something something has happened, right? We're waiting for the headlines to hit. Um, but no, no, nothing's wrong. There's, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're tired, just like everyone else would be tired, right? Um, I mean, even 2020 has been... Has been <laughs> A very very interesting year, um, and and things have accelerated. Um, but but having said that, we're in a good space. Um, my marriage is probably the best that it's been in the last ten years. My wife and I have been married together for for ten years now, going on eleven. And and this has been an incredible year for us. Um, our, our kids are great. My wife and I were saying the other day that this is the first year that we've had we hadn't had to go to the doctor um, in over the winter season. Um, and I think largely because our kids have been indoors the whole time, you know, and as I talk to many parents, you know, a lot of them would affirm that. Um, so, and we've just gotten an opportunity to spend time with our children, which has been really, really good. And I've learned a lot about my kids. I've learned a lot about my, my own parenting um, as a father. And so, and so we're good. We're good in that space. I, th I feel like Rooted Fellowship is doing really, really well. Um, we just celebrated five years and um, during COVID, we have seen God's hand um, as he's added to our congregation, uh, to our church community. And that's been great. Um, you know, the, the space that we've now gotten being able to record here. I mean, it's been a good year, despite the fact that it's been a challenging year. And so it's not, we're not taking the sabbatical because we're fatigued or, you know, we're depleted or no, we're just going, hey, we're, we're in a good space. And I think this is a good time to, to take, uh, just to take some time off um, as, as a family and, and, uh, one of the things I want to do is I, in, in the season, I just want to honor my wife as well. Like, you know, recognizing that she's given so much to Rooted Fellowship, um, to the ladies at Rooted Fellowship. And, um, and, and so just recognizing that, you know, hey, let's slow down a little bit and, and let's focus on, um, on our marriage. Let's focus on our kids. Let's, our kids are, you know, six and three. You know, when we started Rooted Fellowship, we had one child and she was six months old. We would carry her around. Um, from meeting to meeting, and um, and and so our kids are at that age where they're talking back to us and we're having conversations. They're in a really critical developmental, you know, um, part of their lives, and and so we feel like it's it's time for a transition. It's time. It's a season to begin to change things up a bit, um, and so we we want to pause, reflect, so that we might be able to dream uh, for what lies ahead. That's so good. It's, I'm really, I'm really getting the sense that this is almost the the best time for this, rather than kind of you know this is just a decision that's been made because it's seven years. Uh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it's it's crazy. We were chatting um, just before we started the recording that uh, I originally had planned to take a sabbatical in 2022. Right, that was my plan. Right, we all have plans, and <laughs> and God always has his own his own plans. And I, and it's because I just felt like, man, there's so much that needs to happen, um, and. And then, you know, this year happened and COVID happened and everyone had to stay at home. And, and I think in that season, um, I just got an opportunity to, to just think a little bit and, and have really deep, meaningful conversations with my wife that, that led to conversations with the elders and, um, and, and many other trusted mentors that are around us. And, and just felt like, like you said, hey, this is, this is a good time. Um, you know, as you think about what lies ahead, this is, this is a really good time. Don't wait. Um, you know, do it now if the opportunity is 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 available. So yeah, so good. Uh, and also just to let your family in on on the fact that this is not a decision that's you know been made uh, quickly. This has been th um, throughout consultation over the year. Uh, as the elders, we've discussed this and we've prayed about the most ideal time for the Mokatlis to get away. And um, and we've we landed on the end of November till the end of February. Um, and so um, on a yeah, we, we, I'm excited for you. I, I I get that for a number of people, this news is new. Um, but in the sense that I think we're excited for you, uh, for you as a family, um, for the next season of Roots of Fellowship, for what's to come. Uh, for what God is going to do uh, in these next three months. And so um, you go with blessing, you go with our thoughts, our love, and our prayers. What, what could we be praying for you as a community, so as, the, as, the, as the church community? Um, how, how can we be praying for you and serving you as a family, even in your absence? Yeah, no, great, great question. And, and thanks for asking that. Um, just a couple things. Uh, definitely be praying for 
just our family for the Mukatles, um to to really take this time and rest. Um, it's a it's it's a difficult thing for me, and and like I said, I think in the beginning I said it's revealing. Uh, I'm learning a lot about myself um, and and how I can idolize work, uh, oftentimes, and uh, and so for us to be able to just to relax and to say, God, you have this because he does, right? God doesn't need us. It's by grace that he invites us to be a part of the mission that he's on. Um, and and so to be able to just rest and to say, you know what, God's in control. He's got this. Um, in many ways, uh, Confidence and I, we, we refer to Rooted as our third child. Um, and, and not in a in a weird or, or you know, idolizing way, or but but really it's like we we think of Rooted in that way. Um, and, and so to think of us kind of going away, um, you know, it, it's caused us to, to really depend on God and, and, and more me to, to really depend on God. And so pray for us in that, in that way that we would continue to trust him for that. Um, and then, you know, pray that as a family, we would just, we would get stronger. Our bond would become so much stronger. Um, like I said, we learned a lot about our two kids, uh, during the season and, and it's revealed a lot of things that we need to do or we, we would desire to do to ensure that they get the best from us. Um, uh, and, and so that's going to require a lot of changes. And, and so we're taking this time to think through many of those changes. Um, so be praying, be praying for that. And, and then just pray that we would rest well, that we would enjoy this time. Uh, we would make the most of it, um, that we would experience the, the love of God um, through our family. Um, and then, you know, the last thing is probably just pray for our relationships with God. Yeah. Um, pray that, that that we would have uh, deep encounters with Him, um, that we would be reminded that we are first and foremost His children before we're anything else. Before I am a husband, before I'm a father, before I'm a pastor, yeah. um, before I'm a friend, a brother, um, I'm a child of God. And it's from that place that everything then flows. And so we want to make sure that that is anchored in the gospel, that that is strong. And, and so pray, pray for that. Pray that we would uh, continue to see his hand of grace um, every day, every week, uh, every month. Um, yeah, and, and pray likewise for our kids, uh, that they would, they would see much of God in this time. Um, so yeah, so those those would you know off the cuff. Uh, I'll probably come up with some other ones and, and throw them on on Facebook before the sabbatical. Um, but um, but yeah, if you could be praying those those for us, that that'd be fantastic. Thank you so much, and family. I'm, I encourage you to please you know really really um, intentionally pray for those prayer items um, for our lead pastor and his family. Uh, so I think you mentioned Facebook now. What are some no, some ways, some number of ways that uh, folks can maybe just get in touch with you in the next couple of weeks because it is like, I think three weeks or so, uh, and just just maybe have a conversation, reach out um, if they are seeking any clarity. Yeah, absolutely. Feel free to uh, send me a text if you got my number. Uh, then that's totally cool. Send me a, a text, send me a WhatsApp. Um, I'm going to do my best to answer it as quickly as I can. Uh, things are busy at the moment. Um, but I, I will do my very best to answer some questions that you may have. Um, if you want to send uh, some words of encouragement, some some verses, I'd appreciate those as well. Um, so so feel free to do that. Uh, alternatively, you can reach out to uh, community at rootedfellowship.com. Uh, if you have any questions around just, hey, I want to understand a little bit more about uh, a sabbatical and, and, you know, where do we find this in the scriptures? We'd be happy to share that with you. And um, and then also feel free to reach out to, to Jono um, and, and the other elders. Um, they'd be happy to to answer any questions. Like Jono said, this is uh, this has been in conversation for many, many months. Um, and so they, they're up to speed with everything. Um, so, yeah, so feel free to, to reach out. We never want to make decisions in isolation and um, and we we want to always want to be clear and transparent as best as we can um, so so yeah if that's cool that they can they can reach out to absolutely, us in those ways. absolutely yeah. please do family um, okay so three months um, in those three months I think it would be also good to say family we're not going to be trying to to fill our lead pastor's shoes uh, we believe that he is uniquely gifted to lead Rooted Fellowship but we will be of course you know dividing up a number of things that, that Pastor Oner does of course we can't uh, do everything that Pastor Oner does because like I say he's uniquely gifted uh, as he leads our church um, but things will continue um, we'll continue with our digital gatherings um, you know we'll continue uh, sharing the load of preaching with pl planters, with elders, with other po uh, partners that we have uh, in church planting. And so um, please don't worry in that sense. Um, and, 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 and like Pastor Anis said, please get in touch with us if you have any queries or, or any feedback or any, um, any questions. We'd love to hear from you. Um, 
what would be your lead pastor's heart for the church uh, as we as we kind of bring this time to an end, bring this announcement to the end? What, what, as you speak for, for yourself and I guess for, for the family, what would be your heart for the family at Rooted Fellowship as you go? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and if you've been listening to, to my preaching for a while, uh, many of you are, are probably familiar with the phrases that I use a lot. Um, they, in some ways, I think they've become uh, kind of the, the things that people chuckle about, you know, the golden nuggets that we're going to find in the text. Um, but one of the things that I love to say is that uh, God is seated on his throne and he's fully in control. Um, and, and I don't say it just, you know, oh, I don't repeat it because I have nothing else to say. I, I repeat it because I need to be reminded of that, that he is seated on his throne and that he is fully in control um, and that God God doesn't need us. Um, God uh, is not pacing back and forward going, oh my goodness, you know, uh, the Mokatlis are taking a sabbatical, what's going to happen? He, he's not doing that. In fact, he knew that this time would come long before uh, we even thought about it. Um, and so my, my heart would uh, to you would be um, continue to remind yourself of that truth. Um, remind yourself that you are loved more than you could ever imagine. Um, and that is evident because of the finished work of Jesus, that every time we uh, get into that space where we feel like, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen, there's the uncertainty lies ahead, um, hold on to that which is certain. And that is that Jesus loves you. He loves us. Um, he cares for us. He's praying for us by name. Uh, he knows our situations. Um, and so, and so that's that's my, my heart to you is is that is is find ways to remind yourself of that truth. Um, do not isolate yourself uh, in the same way that even though we're taking uh, three months off, we're not going to isolate ourselves. That we're we're going to try to figure out wherever we are. It may not be at rooted, but it's like how can we get connected where uh, there's a local church and just to be reminded yet again of God's truth. Um, so, so I would ask that you would do that. Get in community. I, I can't say it enough. Get in community. Um, and then, and then I would say this, and this is, uh, I'm excited about this, in that I really believe that God has something in store for us that is incredible. Uh, it's waiting for us around the corner. It really is. And, and, and God is going to use us. Um, he, he already has, and I believe that He wants to continue to do so. And so there's a number of things that He needs to put in place to ensure that we kind of kick off 2020 one um, literally with with a bang and um, and and that bang is basically to uh, glorify God um, by putting on display the wonder of who he is um, and then reaching people with the good news of Jesus and uh, and he wants to do that through us in the city of Pretoria and he wants to do that beyond and and so I am excited about the next season I really am uh, and it's got I mean if I'm in it then that's great and if I'm not then then that's also great because um, God is in it he's gathering a people for himself from all people um, and he is going to send and do these these incredible things through uh, faithful men and women. And so I'm excited about that. And, and so should you. Um, really, so should you. Um, so yeah, so th th those would be my two things is, um, you know, keep your eyes on the author and perfecter of our faith um, and get ready because God's going to do something epic. Amen. Amen. So family, I'd say um, please, please just continue to pray for us as a leadership, as an eldership um, for the Mokatle family. Um, pray for one another. Pray for the church over this season. Uh, and we'd also ask you to to try and get those questions to us, obviously, before Pastor Oneg goes away, especially if they're going being directed towards him, because we do want to honor him. We want to uh, give him and confidence the time that they need away uh, as a family. And so we really would love that uh, that interaction and communication before they, they do go on sabbatical. To to you, brother, uh, we'll be praying for you. We'll be uh, I'm excited for you um, and looking forward to what God's going to do in your life. Uh, and so um, may you be blessed. Uh, may you guys as a family just be blessed. May you be filled up and may you be refreshed and may you come back with uh, uh, an enthusiasm and a fire like never before. Thank you so much. And I love all of you more than you know. Amen. Amen. Family, take care. We love you and God bless.